Those damn fools are so sure <laughs> that uh, life is a gift, and uh, yeah. And then it all comes tumbling down. Then they get cancer. They have to lug around a canister of air, a colostomy bag. Uh, then they watch their loved ones commit suicide. Um, die horribly or cause irrevocable harm carnage and they'll say little things like oh but he was such a nice little boy oh they were you know such a lovely daughter they wouldn't say boo to a ghost um and yeah it's it's just all so predictable i mean we may call these um <laughs> cliched excuses for human behavior after the fact um and we make a very little effort to practice the use of foresight you know um because we're selfish cunts at the end of the day and we want what's in it for us we want what we want we we narcissistically want to attain that which we desire okay and often it's it's often in terms of um the creation of life <laughs> well always sorry not often always it's somebody else you know paying the price for the attainment of that goal huh. and whose life is worth it all who's who, who who amongst us can say my life is worth your pain my life is worth the little girl getting raped and abused to mental illness cut up and put in the back of a car or the little boy bullied to suicide by his classmates or whatever i mean all the horror that's out there in this shithole of a world okay which one of your stupid fucking gormless grins is worth it which one of your stupid you know pouting photographs on instagram is worth it <laughs> you fucking dorky looking cunts you fucking duck billed fucking psychopaths um so uh we vaingloriously uh trod on through this fucking realm of suffering and we say things like live your best life <laughs> live your best life what's that then and where, where is that uh possible without causing harm to others for every win you get there's often a loser um and yeah your joy is written with someone else's blood and it's death by a million paper cuts for some people they never ever get to even win once um and yet they're told live your best life as they walk around you know covered in uh, paper cuts with vinegar raining down on them um anyway uh i uh, i do hope you're all well and uh sorry for the rather depressing fucking intro um but guess what there's going to be a depressing outro <laughs> because i'm a depressive fucking realist and by that i mean a realist because to be real is to be um, aware of what is going on and to be truly aware of what is going on is to be disgruntled by it and to be disgruntled by it is to be disturbed to such uh, to such an effect that one becomes discombobulated sometimes one becomes um, yeah one becomes unable to function sometimes uh, and yeah sometimes people become totally dysfunctional and so what happens in this world you've got 
what appeared to be morons who are unable to tie their shoelaces, unable to perhaps even hold down a job, <laughs> unable to get out of bed or do all the normal things. And I've met people uh, really like this who are unable to do things. And yet in their head there's wisdom beyond anything I I hope to attain. And by that I, I, I mean I don't want to attain their wisdom because their truth, right? That they, they, they see they they have seen things, you know. They've seen things beyond that which anybody wants to see. Okay. And um once you see you can't you can't unsee once you've seen, okay? Um, once the veil has been lifted, once the the wretched um, abuse abusers, sorry, have have have, once the spotlight has shone on the psychopathy, yeah, the bullying, the um, selfishness that is inherent in humans. Um, and once you know you see the shittiness of your own behavior, the selfishness, your hypocritical you know stances on everything, your willingness to dismiss and reject people based on attributes you know they didn't choose or or don't have um, and we all stand up and in our Sunday best and you know. <laughs> pull our collar out over our jumper and say, you know what? I'm not such a good, I'm not such a bad guy. I'm a, I'm a stand up guy and you're a stand up woman. Um, but are we, are we really, are we really stand up ladies and gentlemen? Are we really? Um, and if so, what are we standing on as we stand up, preening ourselves? Are we standing on the skulls, the carcasses, the blood and guts, the corpses of the less fortunate as we peer at the rainbows, as we point at the mountains? <laughs> Fuck humans. Fuck me, because I'm a human too. So anyway, that was the depressing outro. So I'll leave it there for now. Thank you. I do hope you're well.